Hello everyone, welcome to Must is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about calculating speed, distance, and time. What is the formula in finding the speed? The formula in finding the speed is S is equal to D divided by T. Where S is the speed, D is the distance, and T is the time. What is a speed? Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. It can be thought of as the rate by which an object covers distance. What is the formula in finding the distance? The formula in finding the distance is we're going to derive from the speed formula, which is S is equal to D divided by T. So here is we're going to eliminate T as the denominator of D so that at the right side, the remaining item is D. How we can do it? By just multiplying the multiplicative inverse of 1 over T, which is T. So T times S is equal to ST. T divided by T is cancelled. Then the remaining item at the right side is D. Then we can twist. D is equal to S times T. This is the formula on how we're going to find the distance. Where S is the speed, D is the distance, and T is the time. What do you mean by distance? Distance is is the total length between two positions. What is the formula in finding the time? The formula in finding the time is we're going to derive from the formula in finding the distance, which is D is equal to ST. We're going to eliminate S from the right side so that the remaining item is T. But how we can do it? By just dividing S both sides of the equation, then we can eliminate S from the right side. And the remaining item from the right side is T. Then we can twist. T is equal to D divided by S. This is the formula on how we're going to find time. Where S is the speed, D is the distance, and T is the time. What do you mean by time? Time is the quantity, measured, or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. So further understand the relationship between these three terms, speed, distance, and time in the formula, analyze the situation below. When we say a track event at the Palarong Pambansa is 500 meters long, we are defining its distance. Yet, most people are interested in the time taken to run it. Equally, however, we could consider them to run a longer distance in the same time. Both points of view are exactly the same. All that we are talking about is their average speed. What do you mean by average speed? Average speed is a measure of the distance traveled in a given period of time. It is sometimes referred to as the ratio of distance and time. What is the formula how to find the average speed? Average speed is equal to distance divided by time. Here are the commonly used units for distance, time, speed, and their abbreviation. Miles, hours, miles per hour, MPH. Kilometers, hours, kilometers per hour, KM slash H or KPH. Meters, seconds. Meters per second, m slash s. Feet, seconds, feet per second. 
FPS or FT per sec. Centimeters, seconds. Centimeters per second. CM slash sec or CM slash S. Let's study the following examples. If a car travels 200 kilometers in 4 hours, find the average speed. So, in this problem, we're going to find the average speed. And the formula in finding the average speed is distance divided by time. The distance is 200 kilometers and the time is 4 hours. So, let's divide 200 kilometers divided by 4 hours. And the answer is equal to 50 kilometers per hour or 50 kph. Therefore, the average speed of the car is 50 kilometers per hour. Our next problem. A world record holder ran 800 meters in 86 seconds. What was his average speed rounded to the nearest tenth? So, in this problem, we're going to find the average speed. And the formula in finding the average speed is distance divided by time. The distance is 800 meters and the time is 86 seconds. So, let's divide 800 meters divided by 86 seconds. So, the answer is equal to 9.3 meters per second. Therefore, the average speed of the world record holder was 9.3 meters per second. Ira decided to travel to Palawan last summer. The airplane flew at an average rate of 300 miles per hour and covered 300 miles. How long did the flight take? So our problem is we're going to find the time. And the formula in finding the time is distance divided by speed. So the distance is 300 miles and the speed is 300 miles per hour. So let's divide 300 miles divided by 300 miles per hour is equal to 1 hour. Therefore, it took 1 hour for the flight. Our last problem. Carlo drives at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. If he drives for 3 hours, how far does he travel? So, in this problem, we're going to find the distance. And the formula in finding the distance is speed times time. The speed is 60 kilometers per hour and the time is 3 hours. So let's multiply. 60 kilometers per hour times 3 hours is equal to 180 kilometers. Therefore, he can travel a distance of 180 kilometers. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.